The Clean Air Act required all new cars to be equipped with catalytic converters to combat air pollution. The first state to do this was California, which led Texans to say things like, I hate California. And when will that place fall in the ocean? While not everyone was happy about it, six years later, one particular Texan saw an opportunity to get rich quick. Oh man, I'm gonna get rich quick. I just got my ticket out of here. Adios. I'm serious. This thing is full of tips on how to make a fortune. Only cost me a dollar. Is one of the tips make a crappy newsletter and charge idiots a dollar for it? No, but not a bad idea. Listen to this. Raise bees and sell the honey for profit. Do it and I'm living with me, Ma. Sell blood or non-vinyl organs. Mm, give them your brain. You're not using it. <laughs> I think that's the only time I've ever heard you laugh. That's the only time you've ever been funny. Ooh, platinum can be extracted from ordinary roadside gravel. No, it can't. Actually, it can. Catalytic converters contain platinum. Microparticles of that platinum are expelled in the exhaust and are mixed in with the gravel. See? This thing's a gold mine. It would be more apt to call it a platinum mine. I laughed at your joke. Hey, what you doing? Playing a historically accurate game called the Oregon Trail. That sounds boring. Hardly. My wagon broke an axle and my wife died of dysentery. What well, can you pause it for a sec? It does seem rude to push onto Oregon while my daughter Mabel is mourning the loss of her mother. What can I do for you? Remember when we were talking about platinum and gravel? Do you know how to get it out? It's not a complicated principle. I could probably do it with my Professor Proton Chemistry set. Great. And an oven that reaches 2,000 degrees. Does Irvin do that? No. But I read you can build one out of a garbage can and a leaf blower. Cool. Let's mine some platinum. No, thank you. I don't care about money. But you care about science, right? Of course. So, I offer you the chance to do an experiment and you'd rather play a video game? What would Professor Proton think? He'd be disappointed. So what do you say? I say we collect gravel. There you go. In case you're worried, Mabel and I did finally make it to Oregon, where I remarried and lived to the ripe old age of 41. Thank you.